Presentation from WSOS. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hi, good morning. This is the second recorder takes a while. Oh, okay, we're on. Okay, we have a presentation, Joyce Huntley from WSOS. Yes, um, we have a little crowd here for you. Um, this is Joyce Huntley. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for having us and also to thank you for all your support of our programs through the years. Every year we come and we try to let you know what we've been doing in your communities to, um, with the programs that you support, that we offer, provide to the community. Uh, this year we are entering our 40th year of fighting the war and poverty and we're still going good at it. <laughs> and. Um, and this past year has been especially challenging as everybody is facing a lot of challenges as we go through the various economic conditions of the nation. But yet, um, we are able to provide for our communities and we could not do it without the support of the county commissioners. Your support really helps us to leverage more funding to help the community, the residents of your community. So we really appreciate you and we look forward to having you with us, uh, support us as we go forward. Um, I don't know if you are all familiar with um, community action as such. Community action was started in 1964 when President Lyndon Johnson signed the Economic Opportunity Act and, um, and so all these agencies like ours was, was, were created. And WSOS is one of 52 in Ohio and one of more than a thousand around the nation. So we are out there doing a lot of work to help communities survive and, and help residents in those communities. <coughs> uh, so before I go on, um, I will let everybody tell you who they are and why they're here. And you introduce me. I'm Joyce Huntley. I do public relations at WSOS. And I'll just leave our president CEO for last. <laughs> so we'll start with Luann. Hello, I'm Lou Ann Berry and I work with WSOS's Fatherhood Program. I've done community classes called 24-7 Dad here in Tiffin and then I also go out to the Crossway Correctional Facility and do an Inside Out Dad program for the dads out there. I'm Paul Harrison and I serve <laughs> as your uh, one of your two representatives uh, from this board along with Holly and uh, I've served on the <coughs> board for, I don't know, how many years, 10, 11 years, maybe. Um, and, uh, 2003, you joined. Three, and three. <laughs> well, I'm pretty close, then. Yeah, very close. <laughs> my memory fails me. So. <laughs> and also served as vice president now for several years on the board, too. So. And I, I appreciate the appointment of each year. My name is Anita Sanchez, and I'm a family advocate for the Head Start program from Postoria. I'm Shannon Snowden, and this is my fifth year as a parent in Foster WSOS. And this is Ariana, and this is her third year as a preschool. <laughs> George Shuby, I'm with the um, Pathways to Fatherhood <clears throat> program, which I cover Sandusky, Iowa, and Seneca County, working with dads, helping them secure employment, keep employment, remove the barriers. My name is Kelly Logarty. I'm also a family advocate at the Bostoria Center. <coughs> I'm Patsy Ailey. <coughs> I've been programmed for a number of years with my husband. <coughs> and he's been with the fatherhood program and the veterans program through WSOS. And they've also helped me to give my son, who is medically and physically challenged, a safe and happy environment. I'm Susan Ryan. I work with the Home Net program. We do housing programs for Seneca County. And is she one of the participants? Yes, and Patsy is a participant of mine. <coughs> Hi, I know most of you. I'm Robin Richter, um, and I'm director of senior programs in Sandusky County and uh, transportation <coughs> programs in Sandusky County. <coughs> um, we work and try to collaborate with the other senior centers in other counties as well as transportation programs across the province. And I left our president CEO, our new president CEO, because she would also like to make some remarks. I'm put my back to anybody. Hi, I'm Ruthie at House. I'm the new <coughs> president CEO. I've just uh, reached my 28th year anniversary, uh, so I'm not so new, but I'm new to the position. <laughs> um, and this is not May. May is Community Action Month. Joyce had it all scheduled, and then I put a, a wrench into it. So thank you for seeing us in April, and we're just ahead of the game, I guess. 
Um, <coughs> I wanted to say just a couple things. Um, the board involvement with Seneca County, we're just thrilled to have Holly and we're expecting just great things from Holly. And Paul has been on the board, as he said, for uh, 10 years, coming up on 10 years in May. So uh, he has worked tirelessly. He's uh, very committed, dedicated, and he brings his book Every month, I mean, he's <laughs> so um, he's you know just a wealth of knowledge. In ten years, he's gained a lot of knowledge about the organization, and it's been very helpful. And has served as an officer for a number of years as well. The other folks in Seneca County are Georgia Reed. She represents the Habitat for Seneca Habitat for Humanity. She's relatively new. Uh, Rich Fogt has been on the board for several years. He just recently resigned, and so we are <coughs> hoping to appoint. She has agreed. Now the board has to uh, make the appointment official. Joan Reinhardt from FEDC. Mm -hmm. So we're happy. We will be happy to have her on. And then we have two low, in low income reps: Tamara Turner, she's from Faustoria, and Bev Hemerly Lake from Tiffin, who served for many, many years as well. So, and Joyce. This is, we're actually entering our 50th year, she said 40th, so 48. next year, 2014, 15 will be our, our yeah. yeah, so we're in our 48th year. Um, this is our opportunity to come and thank you for your support. We appreciate it. We do this annually. We let you hear a little snippet. We typically try to let you hear a little snippet of, of some of the impacts we've had in folks' lives. Um, because of your support and the support of the other community groups that we work with and you know we can't say enough about partnerships partnerships are the basis for everything we do and so we thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. if any of our participants wants to share their experience with our WSS programs with you oh good thank you I again I've been on the program for many years um, they, my son he's 17 now I believe it was probably about eight when we started it, they've helped me do this whole process up with him. And I was recently married last year. My husband is a vet, and through the programs that they've offered, they've helped him to get back into school, and he's going for uh, AMS training and instructing for that. It's just, it's been a remarkable program all the way around. Susan is uh, the first caseworker I've had in this program to go above and beyond what's, what's, what's expected. And I try to do what I can around the community with um, volunteering my time just to be able to give back what, what the program is getting for me. Thank you. Thank you. You're okay? <laughs> <laughs> like he said, I'm a five-year parent of WSOS. Um, Five years because both my kids are born late fall, so they couldn't go into kindergarten when they were supposed to. Because of the extra year, Ariana's ready to go to preschool or kindergarten. My son has excelled. He started reading early, started doing his writing early before most of the other kids in kindergarten. Um, he's now in first grade. He's doing really good. He's advanced in his reading. He's doing pretty good on his grades. Um, doing pretty good on the testing that they do and everything. Um, Ariana's ready to go. She's excited about the whole transition, so they've helped with that real well. Anita and Kelly have both been advocates of my family. They've been great throughout all these transitions, and we've even had a really rough year, and they've helped out with that as well. So. Thank you. Thank you. I, it, when she's talking, I just re remember that um, we have a center in Bascom, and on Monday, they're going to take all the kids who are eligible for kindergarten down to Hopa Lava Schools, where they will attend, and have them tour the school and see where they're going to be. And that's always exciting for the kids. Um, just so you can see what we've done, I've brought a little report here for you that tells you, that will give you all the numbers that we have um, accomplished in Seneca County. Do you need one? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> so you can see all the various programs that WSOS um, offers, and even some of them are may not be listed exactly because they're like not in our county, in this full county area for some of and, and, um, but the specific ones, WSOS, Woods, Celeste, Island, Center are there. <coughs> we have the weatherization program that also works in Erie and Huron. 
and they're listed and their, their numbers are there. Um, it, 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 the people who receive her services are really, they really get a huge benefit and it's really good to see our tax dollars come back into the community and help improve the environment that we all live in. So like Ruth Ann said and I've said earlier, it, we really do appreciate your support to be able to do that for the residents. And now, I would like to ask for what I asked for. <laughs> the proclamation that will proclaim May as Community Action Month in Seneca County. Do we have that? I do. <laughs> proclamation Board of County Commissioners, Seneca County, Ohio, whereas WSOS Community Action Commission has served the people of Seneca County since 1965, and whereas WSOS has been managing programs that service children, families, such as early childhood development community <coughs> and economic development, family development, Great Lakes Rural Community Assistance Program, and housing and energy, whereas WSOS in 2012 accomplished the following in Seneca County, served 324 children and their families with early childhood services, <coughs> assisted 61 homeless families, developed plans to overcome homelessness and become self-sufficient, provide winter home heating assistance for 531 families, assisted 285 medically needy families with air conditioners and or electric bill payments during the summer months, for lower income homeowners, whether is weatherized 130 units, and administered funds for the rehabilitation of 49 homes, provided electric conservation assistance to 52 households, provided foreclosure counseling to 89 families, and foreclosure mortgage assistance to seven families, and home buyer counselings to four families, provided job training and or placement, as well as other services to 34 men so they can become better fathers, assisted six homeowners with their septic repair and replacement, and assisted two communities, uh, Attica, Bascom, and Green Springs with technical assistance for wastewater needs, and trained local officials in Attica and Bettsville to plan for future water needs, whereas Ohio's 52 community action agencies assist more than 3 million disadvantaged persons each year by leveraging federal, state, local, and private resources including more than 32 million hours of volunteer time, and whereas WSOS has proven commitment to provide support and training to help lo local people make the transition out of poverty. Now, <coughs> therefore, be it resolved that we, the Seneca County Board of Commissioners, do hereby proclaim May 2013 to be Community Action Month and urge all citizens to take the opportunity to recognize the work of community action during the month of May Thank you. Well, I will move to adopt the proclamation. Okay. Do, do we need a motion or do we just sign it? Oh, we don't need a motion. Okay. But we, we appreciate your enthusiasm. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Joyce? At this point, I think just our youngest member would like to say thank you in her own way, too. Okay. You can go with her. <laughs> She's full of blame. Boy, <laughs> um, can you go around the back so she can see you? <laughs> she can see over the top. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You do, and uh, we look forward to successful 
chip grant application. Yes. So true. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We do too. <laughs> hey, I was I was down at the state yesterday, and they actually did get fewer applications than they anticipated. So that was good. Yeah. Yeah. And the trust fund money is coming in at a higher level than what they anticipated. So they might be able to even squeak out a few more okay. uh, funded applications than what they originally anticipated. So yeah, we're very hopeful. I know Don was concerned. Yes. That, uh, it's very competitive this year. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Anything Thank else you. from the board? Today? We had some more folks come in from the Park District. I don't know if they wanted to say anything or not. I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll start with you, you privately. All right. <laughs> Thank you for uh, seeing us uh, in a very emergency clause. Rollin Zimmerman, president of the commissioners of Seneca County Park mm -hmm. District. Yeah. Anyhow, we opened up uh, Mercy's Park this week and uh, got that project over. And we are now working on our next project, and we're always running a little bit in arrears because project after project after project occurs. And uh, we have uh, done two nature work uh, grants before. Uh, the shelter at Garl was nature work, uh, where they provide 75%, we provide 25%. The restroom at uh, at uh, Garlow, that was nature work where they provided 75% and we provided 25% of the cost. Anyhow, the application, as most of them, are uh, about 40 pages long. We're starting this morning. The grant's due by the 1st of May. And uh, uh, if anybody knows the Park District, you know it will be done and uh, submitted uh, uh, at that time. Why didn't we start earlier? Two reasons. One, we, we were working very hard getting Mercy going, didn't have time to do it, <coughs> and we found out, we believe there are no other applications from Seneca County uh, this year, and it's done by county, by county, by county, and there are $17,500 available, and your park district doesn't believe that it should ever go back. <laughs> okay, if it's available, uh, let's make sure Seneca County gets it. That's the way I feel. Uh, some people don't like grants, but uh, personally, they're here, and uh, we might as well take advantage of them and, and utilize them. Uh, we have a project that we're working on, and that's the dikes at Garlow. The dikes on Garlow. Uh, over the years, we've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy with those. Uh, <coughs> We still need, and uh, so far we have uh, not utilized any grants to repair the dikes uh, at Garlo. Uh, one of our biggest problems we have right now is we have an overflow in the middle dike. It's uh, three quarters of a mile to get to it, and when water's flowing over it, you have to make a decision. Swim across, or walk three quarters of a mile back around the trail you were on. Uh, no way can you complete the journey and that happens quite frequently so the number one request we've had over the last few years is let's get a man walk across that of course we can't do it on the dike because we need to mow and we need to cross it with the tractor and mower so this has to be built to the uh, side of the dike and it sounds like to us it's a good idea and a good practice to accomplish that particular uh, objective along with repairing the overflow and also including uh, culverts in this particular project. It's a very complicated project. Anyhow, today we're asking for two things. We, we really haven't agreed. One thing is <laughs> we'd like a letter of recommendation from you on this particular project. Uh, it uh, would be important uh, to our application and since we started uh, this project about an hour and a half ago, I apologize that we were not here earlier. However, if anybody gripes about that, my comment is, where were you last week? <laughs> okay, when we needed your volunteer help. Remembering that nobody in a park district ever gets paid. Everything we do is 100% uh, volunteer and donation of, of our own equipment. Oh, Pat gets a smitten of money, but it costs him much more to be director than we pay him to be director. And 
Secondly, I read in the paper you got this $1.2 million you don't know what to do with. Uh, the 25% uh, support of this $17,000, $4,500 would be great. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if Carl or, or Pat wants no, to say just, anything at all. Just glad but, you'd see us on a short period of notice. And, and if it wasn't an important project, we wouldn't be here. And it's all volunteers to do this work. And if you don't believe that, go out there any day you want to, and you can put be put to work. Pat would gladly see more as we yeah. need more. Uh, as we keep increasing, a lot of people don't realize our park gets not one penny as ties or anything else on levies. It's all supported by donations and volunteer. The county supports us no way. And we're probably the only other than, we, they do support us in, in mechanisms, but we receive no money as far as uh, grants or anything else. That's the only way we get our money, through grants and donations. And um, it's a good system. It's a good system. We're the only park probably within quite a few counties that receives no money from any any of the levies levies and good or bad you know we've maintained and we've had some people tell us our park system is about the greatest as you can see and if you've never <coughs> been to our parks we have seven now uh, people don't realize that we have seven parks that we're involved in um, and it's an important asset the people that that actually use these parks we don't know the numbers because it goes so fast we can't count them and that's a fact if you don't believe that, go down to Clinton Trails, go to Garlow, go to Steyer. There's people there all the time. So it's a very good asset to the county. We just need some support from you for the grant, you know, and so forth, and we'll be all set. We need the letter by May 1st, I assume. Yes. Yeah. I talked, uh, Jill Griffin has been working with me on She's the one that, so she was working with me on it, and uh, she's going to put together something, too. But... Uh, I just want to mention too, this is an important project. I mean, it's something we've been talking about for two or three years and we didn't really know how we were gonna accomplish it. And when Jill presented this grant opportunity, it looked like it was a good fit for us. Um, also, I'd like to invite, and we met with the commissioners a few couple of months ago, I think it was, and I'd still like to invite you to, if you still would like to tour our parks, uh, weather's getting nicer, maybe it'd be a good opportunity here to do that if you guys want to do that so and, and let me correct the commissioners do help us yeah, yeah you guys I mean agree. they provide an office space for us mm -hmm. and uh, which we <coughs> truly appreciate they do a lot of printing for us uh, uh, so we, we do get some uh, tax dollar support in that uh, particular situation which we truly, truly appreciate. In kind support, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Yes, thank, thank you. Thanks. Any thank questions? You. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. See you all. Thank you. Bye. Did you get my message? Yes, oh, that's okay. the message. All square. Okay, good. Good enough. Thank you, Manager. Thank you. Anything else for the well, good of the order today? Thank, thank you. you. You're losing our audience fast. <laughs> 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 Must have ran out of popcorn. <laughs> Right, is there a motion to adjourn then? Thank you. Make a motion we adjourn. All right. Second. All right. We are adjourned at 11.05.